Hello everyone, I'm finally back, crossing fingers, and this is Surviving the Aftermath, which is a paradox game, and it is in early release at this time. Uh, you could see what the version number is down here. Whenever they do do um, an update on this, I will have to restart my game. So... It is due to be released next year, late next year, as I understand it at this point. But I am already super excited about this because this game is right up my alley. So let's get into uh, starting the game up and doing some discussion on what it's about. Now, the first thing we're going to be doing is going through this... Um, well, I guess you could say yeah, this is your setup opportunity for the game itself because there's a lot of changes you can make. Uh, with this being as early as I am going to leave the tutorial messages on. Now, the first decision we have to make is about our environment. And I'm going to stick for the, at least for the time being until the game does get to be a bit more stable, I'm going to pretty much stick to the middle of the road, which is where the world is desolate and unforgiving, will have average temperatures and humidity with 25% uh, of fertile soil. And then we're going to have some catastrophes because there will be fairly common ones. And the contamination level from the nuclear fallout and that is at 35%. Now, resources, we're going to stuck, start with this trusted car that finally broke down, which is we'll have a small number of some tools and so forth, but not uh, a whole lot. Uh, again, we want a little bit of a challenge into our game, even with this, at this thing. Just believe me, it's going to be quite a bit as it is. So, okay, and then with survivors... We're going to have a band of survivors of seven adults and three children who are pretty much able to care for themselves. Okay, now the challenge level is it's going to be hard exploration with organized bandits. And it's not going to be easy, but we're not going to be dealing with uh, things on the insurmountable level or anything like that. Now, the other one is the gatekeeper which is, I think, um, has to do with how many times people come to the gate of your community um, to interact with you in different ways. It will be a uh, tough road, but never unfair. And of course, our visuals, we get to design sort of a flag that is to be the front of our uh stand for our community now i'm obviously going with purple purple is my favorite color so we're using that for a background but i think i'm gonna go i want i'm kind of wondering if they'll eventually let us bring in some of our own graphics but i guess for now let's go with like a flame symbol because that's what it seems like i run into the most is meteor showers and things okay here we go so now for our name I'm going to give us a custom name here, and we're going to go with Kraus, which is, of course, my last name. We're going to call this Kraus Haven, because that's what this is representing, is a haven for those that have survived whatever these apocalyptic events that have happened. Um, no, I don't want to go with Haven for All. Um, Oh, cats won't go quietly into the night. That's an interesting one. We'll go with that. I'll have to think up some sort of a motto for my own. But there's, of course, a very quick summary of what our breakdown is. Now, it the the where you spawn and everything, it will be randomly generated each time you start a new game. So I have no idea what we're going to get. So let's just start our game and give the game some time to think here and we'll be started. Okay, and here we go. Now, 
this is where we've spawned. Uh, we will always, at least on this sort of a level, will be spawning fairly new to the gate, which will eventually be the gate of our community. Um, let me try to get it straightened out here a bit for you. Uh, we have what is known as a food storage building. And this is the building that at least at first will be used to collect food items. Now I'm going to move the work area for that because I see that we've got like now, I don't know. There's supposed to be a way to make these circles bigger and smaller. I I use I use a keyboard and mouse combo. Now, my kids have been after me for years to learn how to work a controller, and I suppose I am going to have to break down and do that now. Um, in fact, one of them gave me one of their older models so I could try it. So I will have to hook it up and do some testing with it. Because I am getting a little frustrated with the controls the way they are in that I can't get it to do um, the kind of things that I want it to do. So there's our food storage. We also have a stockpile here. Now the stockpile is for collecting things like, um, well, as you can see, our, hard, our construction supplies. So we're going to move the work area. We have a, uh, let's see that right up here. Look, we got a rather large concrete ruin here and we got a bunch of planks that are sitting here on the ground that are loose so that's going to be wonderful and they won't have to go too far for that so now the idea right now all of our adults are if you look up here at the top these are right now they're all set as carriers which means they will walk around and pick up like for example pick up these loose planks or knock some bricks or concrete blocks off of this thing or picking the berries that we have designated and so forth uh, you'll see that there are large puddles of nuclear waste here and there on the ground those will not only be interfering with our growth but also our colonists can become irradiated or injured because of them, which is not a good thing. But you also see we have things like this is a pile of metal, and I think that's plastic back there. Good. So we could set up our uh, various buildings that will recycle these, the metal, into usable metal our, uh, that's up here, uh, building material. And then the plastic will be recycled into fibers and possibly a few other things but the fibers of course we'll use to make clothing and that okay so now it says me it's warning me that i need to build a water source right away so let's get work on that that is a very critical need so we're going to put our first water source let's just bring it here and then we're going to place a water well which would be where they store the water in obviously right next to that there now that'll take them that because I set those down first that means they're going to build those things first let's actually put a delay let's just pause that one I really want them to get that water well built first now the next thing I need to do I need to zoom out here so I can look around and see well here's some oh look at this we have some water right there where we could set up a fishery so that's really nice so let's go under the food menu and we're going to set up a fishing hut over here let's see where would be oh i can't well there i could put it right there so we're going to put that right there and yes i want that to be built sort of at a high priority because that's where we're going to be getting some protein and so forth now the next thing we need to build right now we have 10 of them that are homeless so we're going to be building what's known as emergency shelters and i'm going to put our first one we'll put it sort of down here next to where our water well is going to be and I'm going to build a second one. Well, let me see. I can't put it. I can't put it up here because of the nuclear waste. I guess I'm going to put it up 
like up in here there now that's enough for now the other oh one other thing i could do see i've noticed here we have um the only type of field we could build at this point is a small field you'll notice that this see this is fertile but this is less fertile this is much greener so it's actually much more fertile so let's put in a small field right there and we'll put someone to probably growing potatoes because we only start out with a couple of seeds at the start okay now that's enough to get things rolling and they're going to grab some tools and set about doing the various tasks that I've given them. Now we've got three kids in here. Oh, sorry about that. The phone rang. And of course it was another junk caller. So now the ones that are all standing around right in here, I think these are all of our little kids. Yeah. Yeah. And he has just a coat on. And yes, you'll notice right now at least we cannot change their names. But I'm kind of hoping we will be able to do that. Uh, he is a real sponge for knowledge. But unfortunately, no, we cannot build a school. We have to do actually do research through the tech tree so we can build schools. But let me see. We've got, we've got some berries in here, which is wonderful. They're collecting those. We've got a bunch of things set to be built. How are they doing? Let me see. Now I'm trying to get the well here selected. Not the people. Oh yes, they're building this already. Because you'll notice we have actually no production going right now of water. And we've got 10 construct consumption so that's a pretty serious issue there oh now there's our small field ready to go so we're going to grow some potatoes in there for now and the water well is finished and we should be having these emergency shelters i'm going to go ahead and unpause that so that they can start bringing over some of their allocated resources for that there now how are we doing where's our we got a couple people over there building it already wonderful so that's going to be done here quite soon and we'll have at least one person in there working now there's our first one and this holds six people now these are cramped they're actually basically just glorified tents so there's not going to be any uh children being born to us here or anything like that we've got both of those up and running so this one looks like both of them are now finished so we have people living in both of those and our fishing hut is done so great now we've got i'm gonna put no i'll yeah i'll put two people in there in catching fish for us okay so now we need to go on in recycling more of these things because we've got we've got people collecting right now we have four people acting as carriers and they're bringing planks and so forth in for us so let's get our recycling i guess you could call it started um now the scrapper is the one that's going to be turning this these piles of metal into usable construction materials for us and i'm going to turn this and put it right next to this pile of metal that's right here. Of course, I can move the work area at a later time. I also want to try to keep it over the, um, well, the not very fertile parts of the soil because I want to, we don't have very much fertile soil and I want to try to keep that reserved for where I'm going to be growing uh, my um, crops and things. Now, there we go now they had say they have insufficient materials 
we need 12. Yes, we don't have enough planks and we don't have enough concrete. So we're going to have to wait for them to bring this. There's plenty of concrete there in that thing. So, but it just takes a while and they have quite a bit of wood to collect up there too. So that's going to be one. And I might as well get them started on the plastics recycling as well. This is, we've got two piles of plastic right here. Now I can obviously move that work area, but I might as well set that right up there because that's going to give them plenty of stuff. Oh, I can't put it down. Let's see. Well, there it can go. There we go. That way I don't even have to move the work areas for those two buildings. They could start right in on those next door. So, and it's nighttime. But they do have some food coming in. They're consuming eight meals, I guess, per day. And we have some water. Uh, and we did get one well built. That's slowly getting filled with water. I think I would actually like to put down another well and water tower. Let's see, because you can't put these two close together. See, you have this white circle that indicates where it's pulling the water from. So let's put this one down over here. And yes, I know it's going to complain. It doesn't have enough resources to build that. But the other reason why I want them sort of apart from each other, too, is I've noticed that we tend to get meteor showers. Well, they're not extremely frequent, but they're... They come at a rather interesting frequency, so I would not like to, um, if one gets damaged, I don't really want to lose the other, so hopefully that will be true. And I'm going to speed the game up here just a bit, and I'm also going to start working on, oh, these are what, I thought those were the kids fighting or something. No, those were adults. Now remember, they're going to be crammed into these buildings. That's going to make them not be very happy with each other. So, because obviously, yes, they can't. I'm going to put in a roadway here down to where my gate will be eventually. And we're going to put one down here to this. And then we're going to come up to this one. Now they will walk faster on the roads. So we're going to go up here. Now I also definitely want to bring a road in from where my fishing village is. Let's see. We can bring that over. I guess I can't come that far. There seems to be something there. Now I could bring my road through there. And I can't take it there. That looks like that's going to work. So there's paths. There's going to be something they can walk on because they could travel much faster on the roads. Uh, no, they don't need any construction materials for these basic roads, but it will help them to travel faster and obviously get things done faster. Now this is, that's our other water well and so forth. This is our scrapper, which they are building for us now. 
and our second water well is done so great now I don't have to worry so much about the fact that uh, if we should get a meteor shower we'll at least continue to have a viable source of water crossing fingers <laughs> famous last words um, regardless of what happens here and I can't remember if I put one a road in here across the front of that little scrapper but there we go now that's going to be connected um, we're waiting on planks well no we're actually waiting on a bunch of stuff for that water tower now I've got I should have one person working in here and yes they're working right here on this metal scrap pile and they'll start getting us some more metal which we will need for some of our other buildings these I think these use just the concrete blocks and the cloth and this one we just need some more concrete oh now we have serious mutations that's interesting I don't think I've ever gotten that message before well, they did some changes, obviously, when they did this most recent update. So let's put, uh, where would be a good place? Hold on, now it's saying up the positives. Let's put our first medical. I'm going to put it out in here. There. Now it says the planks were depleted that's connected to this oh we've still got two others there to pull from so that's okay but I do need to run a road from here up into this area oh I can't go there that's nuclear waste um, there, now we're skipping the nuclear waste. There we go. That'll help them with gathering that material faster. So they, we have our one person working in here. And for every four chunks of this met loose metal, they'll recycle it into three of the metal, um, whatever these, we want to call these metal things and one of the junk pieces now don't worry we're eventually going to find a way to recycle even that and turn it into like parts or um, pieces that we'll need for some of the more advanced building types but right now that's what we have and this is our that's our we're still waiting on the stuff for that now this one this is our regular recycler, which is taking four hunks of plastic and turning it mainly into this fiber. And I don't know what that is. But again, just about everything. That's one of the nice things I liked about this game so much, is it's all about the ecology of keeping things going. Uh, that one, I guess. Okay. They're still getting some berries and, of course, obviously some fish. Now, right at this point, they are eating those raw. So, I'm not very happy about that. But then again, he looks like he's one of our fishing men, fishermen's out here. So, um, now the other thing I need to do is to build a better storage. I've noticed, at least in my earlier playthroughs, that the storage for the truck is rather buggy. That is, things can seem to go into it, but then they are, uh, they can't seem to pull things out of it. So I want, my plan is to get this demolished as soon as I can. As you can see right now, they are using it for a lot of like the tools, the clothing and the medicine. I'd rather have a nicely dedicated place for that to go anyway so there we go now 
I'm not going to be having anyone coming to visit my, my settlement here until I get the gate built, but I need to get at least these first, uh, the scrapper and the those now, all of those are up and functioning. I want to get my um, medical tent built before I, I could start work on that, I guess. I got this going. Also, people tend to get stuck and hung up on buildings or things or objects at times. Um, like I said, this is still very early release, but it will be coming along, and they are doing quite frequent updates for it, which is nice. Now there, uh, we've started the construction on the gate. Uh, hopefully that will will prioritize, because let's put a priority on this medical tent to make sure that they're bringing the supplies for that excuse me, and everything else over, priority over everything else. And I have to check every so often to make sure that they have not run out of resources to be collecting. Uh, it looks like they've run out of planks there, and they're working just on that concrete ruin, which is fine, but I think I'm going to do is set up another stockpile. Let's see, that would be under here. Because you can move your work area for these around quite nicely. But let's move, let's put another stockpile. Let's put one out in here. And then I could start dedicating some of these planks and things to be moving into there so that this stockpile will be used primarily for the concrete, at least for the time being. And then this one will be used primarily for our wood collection. Planks, whatever. The ones that are loose laying around. Eventually, yes, if we keep going with this long enough, we would, I assume, consume all these things that were just, oh, colonists want to talk. Now, did we ever get the medical tent done? No, almost there. So they want to talk. What do they want to talk about? Uh, they have found an old landfill. The smell's really awful. But they believe that they can recover. Now to go, they want would like to take some extra tools and clothing. Let's go ahead. And unfortunately, we got one infected, but we did find four extra items of clothing, which will be quite handy. So now this other stockpile is now done. So now they're already automatically collecting from these two small concrete ruins. And uh, there's a plank pile there. So I'm going to leave it there for right now. So that way we, you notice they're going right to work on recovering those planks for us, which is what we need to pretty much finish everything we're doing right now. now that's our warehouse. And... What we need, we've got enough cloth made. It looks like this. They just brought it over. Wonderful. So now they should be having someone come over that can be a builder. I've only got two people acting as... Um, carriers I may have to I only have seven adults I'm working with right now so that's kind of limiting what I could do and when I build this I'm gonna get one person to go in there and act as a medic so I only have one person that's a carrier I think at that time I'm gonna have to take let's take our extra person off there so 
I mean, I hate to do it because that is our primary source of protein at this time, but it is what it is. Now, with this is built and wonderful. We have someone in here and we have our two, at least two of our people that are injured or infected are in here. One person's getting treatment. Uh, if we bring in another medic, can we get them both in here? At least two to get healed up. Well, it looks like we've gotten, all right, only got one person. I'm going to take the extra person out of there. Now, as soon as we get that person recovered, we'll take the, that person acting as the medic off for right now. Now, one of the other neat things about this game is it does do a rather nice job. Oh, they're done. Okay, so let's take the extra person out. Now we've got our three people running around. We've got everybody that was injured, recovered, and we're gonna put someone else back in here. It does do a pretty good job of matching whatever work type we're asking them to do to those with uh, very, pretty good work, uh, their, their uh, skill set. So let me see. That's still going with the concrete. Fine. And this one, they still have some berries to collect. And this one, yes, they are still collecting from those areas for this one. You have to go, that's one thing I have noticed. You have to go do check that for every so often. Now our warehouse, they're almost done with the construction of that. And then I'm going to be able to dismantle this truck, recover whatever it is that's stored in here. We only have two medicines left. Oh, dear. And three towers. Okay. So we're going to demolish this. And there. Now, eventually, as they're running by and around, they will pick these things, items up, and put them in our warehouse for us here. And how are we doing with our gate? Um, well, it looks like we have all the metal and all the concrete. What we're just waiting on is the cloth. We have enough in storage. And it says we're low on food. Well, we have fish over there. How's our potatoes doing? Uh... They're going to be get harvesting these quite soon. Now, are they still collecting berries? They still are getting berries from those. So now we've got... I'm going to let the water tower... I could build more water towers, but I'm going to wait. Um, I want them to go back to collecting some of these... Um, the berries and the planks and so forth and everything. So, the big thing is to get this gate finished. We've got everything over here except for our planks. So what we need to do is be focusing in on, now they've got, well, 24 more they can get from there. Actually, what I think I will do is change this stockpile. They'll come back to that, but let's look and see if we can't find. There's some more wooden planks. See if we can't get those two in there. Those are not very far away. And that way they can get some more wooden planks in here. Faster. Yes, there is a um, there is a building we can build eventually that will help us to get rid of the nuclear waste that's on the land here. These things they'll help clean that up so that then we can then use those areas for either building buildings or growing or something. Oh, and now we're having a heat wave coming in. Now it's warning us that they will be drinking double the amount of water. 
and our crops and our fields are going to suffer. So it's warning us what we need to do is make sure we have enough water towers and food, of course, stockpiled. Now, they're going to be able to continue to catch the fish, thankfully. Um, but let's see. Right now, we have... Um, we're producing 24. We're only consuming 10, but that's going to double, so it's going to go up to 20. Uh, right now, we're having a big bonus. But I do think... Oh, we've got another person injured. So we've got to put someone in there to help get them recovered. And I do think I will put in yet one more well. Now, where can I put... I think I could put one up out in here. This looks like a fertile area up in here, which means that this would be a nice place to be doing some some farming at a later point. And again, we are low on food. Um, that person who is injured should be recovered very quickly. And how are we doing on our gate? We're just missing the planks. So. And they are now harvesting. And we have someone's injured again. Um, they want to talk. They're curious about a nearby river. And they've built a simple raft, so let them go try. Uh, they are completely empty-handed. The boat sunk halfway, and they were unable to even rescue their equipment. Uh, they decided to flee instead of diving after their lost vessel. So, uh, yeah, that means whatever tools and so forth they had with them, they lost. So they'll have to be pulling extras of those from our uh, warehouse here. And uh, we've got not very many. So I also need to get going with building a, um, uh, a blacksmith, I guess. I don't remember what they're called here in this game. Uh, no, they're over here. A tool shop. Uh, they will be turning the metal also into tools for us, but they need a lot of wood and, well, let's see, we've got, don't have too much concrete blocks either. The only thing we do have is a fair amount of metal. Uh, let me see, where can I put that? I want it fairly near, near to my where my storage building is. Whoops, that's not where I wanted it. Hand twitched on me, sorry about that. So let's put that in here next to where our warehouse is so that as they make tools, they could just walk right over. They're also right near our metal scrapper here so, again, that's quite nice. No, I cannot build any better housing type. These do not provide any sort of protection if there is a nuclear fallout. Now, how are they doing on this other well? They're looking for concrete and wood. Okay. Um, they are still pulling from both of these plank piles. And we have someone injured again. I'm getting to think we're going to have to keep this man pretty much constantly. They keep injuring themselves. So I don't know where our injured person is. Hopefully they're going to head over there and there they are right there. Um, they're going to go over there and get themselves treated how does this one? Yeah, this one's still pulling. We're getting a little bit of concrete from these smaller ones. 
but um, now what are these this is it's not telling me what those are I still don't know what those are must be some sort of scrap from the plastic but I know that pretty much everything you have in this game can be reused so that's kind of cool and they're still waiting on wood so we're gonna put this one on the highest priority because I do want to get that built hopefully fairly quickly so that we could start because the only way we're going to get some of the things we need is by getting out there into the larger world oh and there's another nice little pond some sort of water I could set up another fishing area there later on and they are getting us well look at that we have some potatoes and we have some fish but remember they're eating them all in the raw state because we have not been able to research to unlock the cookhouse there's our tool shop and that is Like I said, right now everything is, should be going into this gate. And we're waiting on the wood. And I only have one person now acting as a carrier. We're getting way ahead with the food. So I think I'm going to have to take this extra person off of there. So we have two people running around collecting. Oh, and here's the heat wave. So now our water usage is going to start climbing. I should be okay even without that extra well. But let's put a pause on this for now and on this so we could get them to build this one at a bit of a higher priority. All this is waiting on is some planks because I certainly don't want people to be dying from thirst. And we got someone infected again. And they're running over to our medical tent. Thank you very much. Uh, they are just planting the seeds right now. So we don't have anything actually growing there quite yet. But pretty soon they'll be growing. I haven't done too much as far as the road construction yet either. But that's okay, I guess. Oh, they got the water well completed. Wonderful. I know I didn't build a, a storage one, but that's okay. Let's get this going again. We've almost got enough wood there. Let's double check to make sure. Yeah, they've still got some planks here and some there. What about this one? Yeah, they're still pulling from all those. They're not going to feel like working too hard in this heat either. you got to remember that. Those things, everything's slowing down right now. 
And where are, we've still got some berries there. Not that they're out there grabbing too many, it seems. That's the one that this is going at, or yeah, okay. Oh, it looks like we have people out of there. Let's see if we can bring, um, well, whatever her name is there. Have her hopefully help collect a few more things. And that's working quite nicely. Looks like we're not even cutting into our storage just yet. So that's good. Now, are they building? Oh, wonderful. Yes, they are building finally. So let's take, put this. Now it says there was some berries depleted. So that's, looks like we've still got one and we got someone injured already. All right, fortunately, someone's gotta go back to work in there. Let's move our work area. How many do we have left there? You know, there's only two berries left there. So let's move our work area. Let's see if we can. Now I can't. See, I can't figure out. Oh, there we go. That's how you do it. And now our gate's finished. We have our first specialist. And hers is with scavenging. Now she's someone you get if you um, buy on the early access. We have two adults, but no children. They bought us a few protein bars, it looks like, and some potatoes. Oh, five tools. Yes, we are definitely accepting you for now. And our heat wave is over. There, now we have our food storage. And now we also need to, someone else is at the gate. Um, wants to work as a scientist. And we have another colonist. Okay, so now we have, we have at least one person that is uh, homeless. So let me pause the game here. I think what I will do is build, I'm going to build yet another, um, how many can sit, be in this? Two. Yeah, we're going to build this type. It's very flimsy, I know, but it will go up very quickly. And now we have access to the worldwide map. And we have our first specialist, and we're going to... Oh, we have some jerky we can get over here. So let's, and she can grab, looks like 16 of those at a time. So we're going to have some food brought in here quite shortly too. Wonderful. Now it says our planks were depleted. That's going to be corrected shortly. And we also have someone that's injured. Why can't? Why aren't you going away? Okay. I guess it doesn't want to let me dismiss that one. Okay, so what we're going to do now. Um, they're growing. And we have five people now available to work with. That is in progress. So let's see, What's this is our newest tent. Um, well, we're still getting some planks from there. So we're gonna let that go. And we just changed that to the berries location. Now this one, we're getting a little bit of these concrete things here, because we're gonna need those. 
Because what I want to set up now is um, one of the buildings that will cut more planks for us. Uh, we're going to need concrete, metal, and wood, obviously, for that. Um, now where am I going to put? I think I'll put it if I can. Yeah, right in here. There. And... says we have one person in there getting healed, it looks like. I'm also putting my one an extra person back over in here to get us more fish being caught. Oh, and Oscar is now an adult. So one of our children that we started out with has grown up. See, I'd really like to get, before I build too many more of these tents, basically, I would like to get better quality buildings that I can build. Now, how are they doing? Yes, they're still pulling plenty of plastic from there. Our scrapper is doing just fine. And it says we've run out of berries. Um, well, we've got one up there, but let's move it. So now we've got those three right there. So now we can get that. And I think I will put yet another water tower. I don't want to put it on that side. Let's put it over here. There. Now, it looks like our specialist, I do like how it notifies us that she's, whoever it is, is ready. And we're going to go get some more of, we should be able to get the last of that scavenged. So, yes, the farm is now empty. So, on her next available, we'll bring those back so we have a, some more food. The thing is, we have no idea what the game is going to throw at us in so far as challenges. And I think I'll put in another small field. Let's see, that's over here. Put another one down here. Because I think I'd like to get some corn going. Corn grows a bit faster than the potatoes. Okay. Okay, we've got our tool shop done. Wonderful. Where is that? Uh, where did I put the tool shop? Should be right in here. There it is. Yes, we have someone making tools for us, finally. And we have a wandering merchant that's shown up. Uh, no, I'm not giving you any of my medicine, that's for sure. And we're not giving any tools, nor any clothing. So, and we can't accept that either. We don't have any venison or not enough berries. So, bye. That's our sawmill. I also get need to get the tailor built. Oh, specialist is ready for action. So let's bring that venison back into our colony. And she still has some action points. So let's head up 
there to explore. Oh, and we have a some sort of a factory with concrete. Good, we're definitely going after that. That will help out tremendously. Oh, now our second field is done. So let's get this to growing some corn. And did that tent get finished? Oh, they don't have, why didn't they bring over the cloth? I don't know why no one brought over the cloth for that. All right, maybe that's bugged. All right, I guess we're going to have to put in the other type of temporary shelter for the time being, just so we can get another one. There they go. So, okay. I'm not sure why they weren't bringing over the cloth for that. Okay, the small concrete was depleted. Let's see, was that... This one, yes, it was. Not very much of that left either. All right, I'm going to let them finish that off, though. This one was getting the planks from... They've got just one left. and no, one left there. All right, let's check with our specialists. We're going to send her up here... She's going to be able to pick up 32 of those at a time. So we'll have to wait for her next turn to get the last of those. And then we'll bring those down. That'll help tremendously with building. Now let's go ahead and get started on our tailor. Where am I going to put my tailor? Maybe down in here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's our tailor. Put our tailor in there. And I'm down to just two people running around and doing things. Again, I'm going to go ahead and take this person, extra person, off of here. So we got three people running around and doing things for us again. And I have a bandit at the gate. But he is selling us things. Now he is willing to give us nine components for six metal. That's not a bad deal at all. Let's go ahead and give him that. He does seem like a rather typical. He's got a little high prices, but they're not horrible. Let's put it that way. I think this is where I'm going to bring this session to a close. So let's save our game. Thanks for watching.